Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> 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 Is this Kadul? Kadul. What bothers you, Calibur? I don't know. Something seems off. Hey, you! This place isn't safe for outsiders. What's happening here? Strangers have set fire to the forest south of here. Everything's in chaos. If you don't need to be here, you'd best be on your way. If you're hurt, go to the village. Those who can fight, grab a weapon. Aye, aye. Are you done running away now? I see you've gathered an army of one-armed old men and dumb farmers. Such courage. I assume you are the Dusk Hoods. And you would be assuming right, mate. Now, time for you to be on your merry way. Is anyone hurt? Everyone's fine, sir. 
I need to catch my breath. Thank you, all of you. We would have faced great peril without your aid. Which order of knights do you serve? I am Arthur Pendragon of Camelot, and I'm glad to be of assistance. Pendragon? Forgive my ignorance, Your Majesty. I had no idea. Think nothing of it. More importantly, what is happening here? A strange army has appeared near Kardul Forest, burning villages and slaying all they encounter. An army? Yes, but nothing like you have ever seen. They resemble fish, but speak like humans and wield weapons. I fear you and your villagers won't be able to handle these strange foes alone. I will call forth reinforcements from Camelot. Is there one of you quick-footed and brave enough to take a message? Thank you. Go to Camelot Castle, find Kay or Merlin, and tell them to bring soldiers to Cardul with haste. Now, sitting and waiting accomplishes nothing. I'm going to scout the forest. Is there anyone who can assist me? I'll join you, sire. My name is Bedivere. And although I may not be a knight, I can fight. Anyone else? I'll come. My name is Sarah. She can be trusted and will be of help. Right then. Bedivere, Sarah. Let us go. This bridge is a real sword. How did one so large come to be? Legend says it is from a battle between the old gods. Such hateful gods. So despicable and evil. Caliburn? What does the legend say about this place? Hmm. I was told that this is where a tremendous battle was fought by a great dragon called Caliburn, who was at war with the old gods. It has been said that Caliburn fought five gods alone. Two were reduced to ash, and one died of vicious bites before Caliburn succumbed to exhaustion and capture. Did you say... Caliber? Yes. What happened after isn't clear, but one of the defeated gods dropped his sword, and generations later we use it as a bridge. Although I know all this sounds fantastical and unreal, over yonder lies proof in the form of a giant skull. Caliburn must have known about this place. Although it has been thousands of years, I have never forgotten that day. At ease, Caliburn. There is no one here at the moment. Alas, you only believe that to be true. Is this a village? It used to be a village. They've burned everything. A 
What do you think happened to those who couldn't escape? I'd rather not think of their fates. Oh, Bedivere, look over there! <laughs> Is that the army of monsters? Let's get them and kill those who resist! Why are you here? What are you plotting? What is this about, Rians? Are you wasting your time again? Akalon. This... this is Arthur, the one who spoiled my plans in Camelyard. Nonsense. You're just making a big deal out of an old man and a kid. But, Akalon. I'll tolerate your clumsy magic experiment, but only for as long as you complete your mission. You! Kill those bastards! We will continue our work!
Where in the world did they come from? That I do not know, but I've never seen anything of the like. Your Majesty, do you know the Mage Reans? A wicked man, known to be obsessed with evil mysticism. He transmogrifies humans and animals, turning them into monsters. Then, do you suppose those monsters are Reance's creations? His monsters are much more crude and unseemly. Results such as these would be difficult with his skills. He is the wickedest of men. One who turns living people into monsters. He will pay for his sins. Now that we've crossed the cliffs, what do you feel should be our next move? We need to scout the areas where our enemy may be. Any ideas? There's a fairly large open field to the south of the forest. There's a good chance they're camped there. Then we will try there. So you best be turning back. What? Ah, uh, what could the three of you do? You'll end up as Reince's test subjects, and that'll be the end of you. Don't be a nuisance. 
Get lost. Would you be the one Rance has been making such a fuss about? Are you the king of Camelot? What if I am? Chasing villagers with no army really isn't well suited to my tastes. So I thank you. I am Fingal, King of Vale. Now, let us engage in combat. Do it again. He hasn't taken any damage at all. He's more monster than man. The King of Vale, you say? Is it your army that's taken over? Well, we're not alone. The armies of all five islands have come to Britain. And are you the leader of these five armies? The five islands have five kings. Which is quite unfortunate for you lot.
Bam! An interruption. Uh, just when things were starting to become enjoyable. <sighs> Be gone before this gets annoying. We will assuredly fight again soon. What exactly are you saying, Fingal? It's no fun to win by numbers. If they see you, I'll have to act my part as king. So, go, before I change my mind. Let us retreat for now, Your Majesty. This is where I used to live. It's nothing fancy, but let us rest here. Sarah, are you all right? <laughs> it's been a while since we were last here. Have you known each other long? I believe about a year or so. I arrived here as a wanderer. I didn't have a place to sleep or anything to eat, but he took me in. I am forever indebted. Were you fleeing from war? We don't ask wanderers about their pasts here. In times like these, everyone has their reasons. That was rude of me. My apologies. Let us get some rest and then plan our next steps. That story from before, was that yours? Yes. I fought here, and I lost here. I bit clean through Tyr's neck, but fell to Krom Kruak's poison. My body was then ripped apart, my soul trapped inside this cursed sword. It was Krom Kruach who trapped you in there. Yes. The root of my curse and the source of this hatred. But Krom Kruach is no longer here. There's no opportunity for vengeance. What is here is only a fragment of his sealed body. I disagree with your assessment. And soon, you'll figure out why. Don't you forget, our agreement has yet to end. Are you alright? Ah, it's nothing. Don't concern yourself. Are there the remains of a dragon or a large snake nearby? I know not how you know, but in the open field we scouted earlier, there is an ancient ruin known as the Dragon's Mouth. If our enemies are camped there, that must be it. Will you lead the way? That may be why our enemies attacked. I'm not sure I agree, but indeed I will take you there. Are you going to the enemy camp? What about that mage, Rians? There are too many enemies for a full assault. I will use stealth in order to observe them. It will be fraught with danger, so you best stay here. No, I'll come with you. Then we leave before dawn. We need to travel further south on the path taken earlier.
Their guard presence is formidable. Is there a way to do this silently or another way in to consider? No. It's shaped like a jar, and there seems to be no alternate routes. The guards aren't monsters. They are the bandits known to many as the Dusk Hoods, infamous in their capacity for causing trouble. Ah, I'm all too familiar with the scoundrels. Who is their current leader? They're known for being duplicitous, so I'm sure we can work something out. Leave them to me? I doubt their presence here is due to an ironclad loyalty. A simple bribe may do. That's amazing. I believe it worked. It cost less than I expected. They took the money and just disappeared. That could have been dangerous. Please avoid any further recklessness. Indeed. That was a bold scheme. Although there are no guards at the entrance, best keep your wits about you. Of course. Zubedavir, guide me to the dragon's mouth. <laughs> I am far from being a knight, your majesty. The door, I fear, is enchanted. I tried to break it with spells and a hammer, but nothing will move it. Yes, of course. This door can be opened only by the Master of Excalibur. witnessed some of this sword's magic, it still truly mystifies me. By now I thought there to be little in this world left to amaze me. We know not what lies inside. Wait here or return to the cabin. Going alone would surely be a bad decision. I'm coming. As am I. So be it. I have neither the time nor the energy to argue the matter. layout of this room before. I believe we must manipulate these artifacts in order to open the door.
It's open. Let's go. But take caution and be wary of our surroundings. I thought, at the least, it would have been stored somewhere like the Eye of Krom Kruach was. We need to destroy it, lest it fall into the wrong hands. Krom... Kruach... Calm yourself. I want revenge. You could live a thousand lifetimes and I'd still crave it. Caliburn! The stone chamber is collapsing. We must leave. What's happening? There's no time to explain. Go! We can't leave through the way we came. to be outside. Hurry! You dig too slow. How are you any better than those bandits? This would be faster had you not sent the soldiers to round up test fodder. What did you say? Come to help us dig? How kind of you. Sarah, why are you here with them? Sarah? My dear apprentice, I know not why you left me, but I stand relieved that you've chosen to return. I'm not your apprentice, you monster! Monster? No, no, no. We are accomplices. Now, what did you see there? Tell me! A heart. There was a massive heart. How fortuitous. They found the stone chamber. Cormac, come take these fools. Sarah, you and I will be talking later. It was quite a reckless plan, but even this is a bit unexpected. We must escape. They cannot get their hands on the heart. I do hope Sarah is all right. I'm finding it hard to believe she was once Rience's apprentice. It's clear there's little affection left between them. Sir, you're safe. Even after all of that, you were worried and not angry with me? It's clear to all that you're not fond of him. Thank you. And yes, as he mentioned, I was once his apprentice. He terrorized us. 
used fear to keep all the apprentices in line. If one refused to be a part of his dark experiments, they became a subject. That can't be. Given the choice between being a monster or being turned into one, I fled to Cardul. When I saw how unafraid your majesty was of Reance, I realized he's not some unstoppable monster. Just a rotten and cowardly joke of a man. But the moment I faced him, I froze. Pathetic, right? Understandable, and far from pathetic. Although he is preoccupied with the stone chamber, he'll likely want to torment Sarah again. It's time to leave. I will not run. I will face him. Well then, might as well hit him where it will hurt the most. Indeed. And we must do it now. Why now? We know not their plans for Krom Kruak's heart. We can't leave it here. I'm ready, Your Majesty. <laughs> well, this promises to be interesting. As has everything so far. I expect nothing less. You get out!
Rians. What have you done with Krom Kruak's heart? The lands of Kardul were a treasure trove, full of legendary beasts, godly remains, and fays with unimaginable powers. And still, there was nothing even remotely as powerful here as the heart of Krom Kruach. But who has taken it? The completion of my research was just within reach. I knew you had ulterior motives, Rians. I had my trusted servants move the heart already. Soon it shall be delivered to Morgan. No. You incompetent worm. You've done nothing but take credit while our enemies did all the work. You dare to scheme against the cause. You were all but nuisances to Morgan. Time to die.
You're stronger than I thought. But I refuse to die like this. There is still much to be done. Damn it! I've lost it! We must hurry out! Your Majesty! Sarah! Is it just you? Are Akalon and Riance dead? Akalon has fled, and Riance is likely dead. What will you do now? Client or no client, a contract is still a contract. I can't just let you go. Ah, oh, the King of Camelot! I oh, knew you'd still be alive. Seems Britain's forces have already surrounded the forest. What on earth did you manage to call in reinforcements? They've arrived earlier than expected. Could it be Kay? Call oh, man! Seems like getting out of here will require something like a fight to the death. <laughs> Since our client has departed, I see no reason for us to wage an all-out battle in the dark night of the forest. Let us now settle this. King to king. Victor leaves the forest. Loser submits to his demands. You want me to give you a reason to step away? It's not a bad suggestion. Well then. As much as I'd love to take part, I shall serve as witness to this duel.
Defeated Corman. Impressive. Very impressive indeed. Why does that seem to delight you so? Nevertheless, it is true. You win, Arthur Pendragon. Arthur, are you all right? I'm fine. Tell me, how did you get here so fast? Merlin grew anxious after you left and asked me to bring the army to you. I ran into your messenger near Cardur. Merlin? All this catch-up is indeed quite pleasant. But there is business to take care of. What's the plan? Among the armies of the Five Islands, the forces of Ireland will withdraw from Britain unconditionally. I ask that you let my men go. Seeing as how your forces have already invaded Britain, we are still at war. Allowing a retreat based solely on your word is too great of a risk. I will guarantee his promise. You expect me to trust my enemy based on the guarantee of my other enemy, Madness! Oh, do not just take me at my word. I offer myself up as your hostage. A king's promise guaranteed with the life of a king. Is that good enough? When stated as such, I admit it is hard to say no. I agree to your offer. King Cormac, take your men and Fingal's army, leave Britain immediately. And if there's any looting or damage along the way, it will be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. Our departure will be without event. Thank you, Fingal. Serve your king well. His wrist is very life for you. Sir Bedivere, I thank you for your assistance and bravery. Thank you, your majesty, but again, I am no knight. Then come to Camelot. I need knights such as yourself. Your majesty, you honor me with such an offer. Sir Bedivere, it fits you so. But with respect, sire, there is something of great importance I must first take care of. I will come immediately after. And please, I ask that you keep your promise to support the restoration of this area. Of course, it will be done. And to you, Sarah. A debt of thanks. It is I who is thankful, my lord. There was a time when I knew of no greater monster than Rians, but no longer will I live in fear of him. Had I faced him without your majesty at my side, surely my mind would have remained troubled. I am beyond great. I also extend to you, Sarah, an invitation to Camelot. I would be honored, Your Majesty. Well now, who's just a very special king today, then? Enough banter. Time to leave. There is much I would like to discuss with Merlin. <laughs>